Hey guys, what's up? Caden Powell Freeman here. Five tips on how you can improve your Instagram feed. So let's get straight into it with tip number one. Find a theme that reflects your brand and stick with that theme for the foreseeable future. Now, a great way you can attract your target audience is by creating a style that you stay consistent with throughout your feed. Now, by doing this, this will help your followers have a better understanding of the content you're going to be posting in the future, so they're more inclined to follow you if they like your style. This will also help your photos blend into each other more and your Instagram feed will look a lot more photogenic. Okay guys, tip number two. You wanna be using Lightroom presets to edit your photos. This is a great way to create a unique style that will flow throughout your feed. By creating your own presets, you'll be able to achieve the same look in your photos that reflect the mood and vibe of your Instagram feed. If you don't wanna use your own presets, I highly recommend this guy, Peter McKinnon. He creates the best presets out there and he just has a really nice style. I'll put the link down below. Right guys, tip number three. You wanna be using the seasons to your advantage. Change up your Instagram feed with the seasons around you. A great way to improve your Instagram feed is uh, changing it up by the seasons. This is a great technique to make your feed more relatable to your followers. And it also gives a continuous evolution of uh, color and atmosphere. Tip number four guys. Find some inspiration. Find some inspiration from someone popular with a unique style which is similar to yours. Now try and uh, recreate some of them ideas and photos using your own ideas without copying. Doing this you might find some more great ideas along the way and it will also give you motivation for future posts. Right guys, finally tip number five, include more variety in your feed. Now, you want to be including as much variety in your Instagram feed as possible, really. If you are a portrait photographer, try and um, mix up the poses as much as possible and include more candid photography, which is sort of natural poses without the photographer um, actually telling the model to do something specifically. Uh, this can create a more relatable, personal sort of feeling with your target audience. If you're a filmmaker, try and include as many different video formats as you can. So for example, drone shots, um, time lapses, just short, quick edits, just things like that really, just really mix up your feed. Okay guys, so that about wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing and maybe leave a comment on what you want me to do next. All right, cheers guys.